is another really good question and something that I did my senior thesis on in school. So let's talk about it. So the 1920s and the 1960s was a 40 year time period of a lot of social and economic turmoil, for lack of better words. Um, you have the Great Depression, which put everyone in a very awful financial situation because the stock market crashed. So banks shut down, no one had any money, people were struggling to buy groceries, people were struggling to make it to their jobs. So there wasn't really a whole lot of room for celebrating when no one really had money for five to 10 years essentially. Also, not to mention that it only had been two years since the end of World War I. And World War I had a lot of economic, political, and cultural shifts, most of which were not very good. So, moving past the end of World War I and moving past the Great Depression, which the president of that time, President Roosevelt, um, passed the New Deal, which was supposed to be some type of alleviation for the Great Depression, but we all know how that goes. Also, you have a lot of racial tension because there was still segregation, obviously. There were a lot of luncheons and boycotts and all this other, all these other events that were going on during this time. And then you also get to the peak of the civil rights movement and you also get more into the Ku Klux Klan. So a lot of people we're not really sure what racial relationships are going to look like during this 40 year time period. All they knew was that we're segregated and we can't really do the same things that we see other people do. So what do we do about that? Well, you get the civil rights movement and you get bus boycotts, you get the Civil Rights Act, all this other stuff, which contributed to why Juneteenth celebrations were not really heavy during this 40 year time period. Now that doesn't mean that they weren't happening, but they were not happening on as large of a scale as they used to. And the other component of this that we see is education. Juneteenth is not something that is discussed heavily in public school. Now I do want to make this point very, very clear. Juneteenth is a part of American history. Black history is a part of American history. It's not something that should only be discussed for one month out of the year or should only be discussed during June, in the actual month of June or on the actual day, Juneteenth, which is June 19th. It is a part of American history and should be discussed either way. But you do not see that happen very often, especially during those times. Um, so that also didn't help either. But now in the present year of 2024, I think that there is a little bit more awareness as to what Juneteenth is, the history behind it, and ways that you can celebrate and different things that were done um, during you know, the late 1800s that black people during those times did to celebrate and commemorate Juneteenth. So I think now there is a little bit more awareness to it, but I need people to understand that all of this is a part of American history. I know that there are a lot of people that will say, well, no, it's just black history. It's not American history. It absolutely is a part of American history. And I understand as a historian that there is a lot of darkness within American history. But nonetheless, this is a part of American history. And you cannot have good without the bad. You cannot have bad without the good. There's going to be a lot of dark things that have happened throughout history. But one of the things about being a historian that you have to remember is that you have to take your personal feelings out of it. I was not born between the years of 1920s and 1960s. Therefore, I cannot sit here and say, oh, my, my feelings are so hurt because I did not experience any of those things. And I have to take my own personal feelings out of it. And we have to understand that these were things with, that were just normal during that time. Does not mean that they are right. But these were the things that were normal and normalized during that time until someone else said, I kind of don't like that. This shouldn't be normal. We should change it. So I hope that gives a little bit more insight. Let me know if you guys have any more questions and I'll be more than happy to talk about it.